Hello children, I am back after 2 weeks, last week I could not uh, upload the video uh, because of the fact that uh, you had a uh, festival Eid, so because of which uh, I am coming back after 2 weeks. Now uh, we have already finished with trigonometry, 2 chapters of trigonometry, the first chapter of trigonometry which was uh, trigonometrical identities that also we have finished and the second chapter of trigonometry height and distance that is also over. Now, I am going on to a chapter which is uh, uh, easy, I think uh, since uh, trigonometry was not so easy. Now, I am going on to another chapter which is uh, uh, I would call it as very, very easy and the name of the chapter is banking. Now, you people know how the bank function, uh, you might have uh, accompanied your uh, father or maybe a relative to a bank and you might be seeing how actually a bank function. You might have seen your father uh, keeping the money in the bank, sometime going and withdrawing. Now, there are different kind of facilities that the bank provide with respect to your money. They are called saving bank account. So, in a saving bank account, you can put your money, how much amount you want, you can put that amount into the bank and whenever you want, how much you want, you can withdraw it any moment, any time from the bank. Nowadays, I will say any time because you can withdraw the money from the ATM also 24 7 that is all 24 hours a day. But your ICSC syllabus do not have this saving bank account. Yes, previously maybe 5 years back we had this saving bank account also which you have to study, but now you do not need to. Now, the second kind of account is called recurring account, a recurring bank account. Recurring is also called cumulative. Okay, let me write here recurring. recurring bank account or cumulative bank account. So, you only have to restrict yourself if you really have to study what is there in your syllabus to recurring or cumulative bank account. Now, there are also many other kind of account like uh, you might have heard about current account, fixed deposits, so many kind, but then we will study only recurring or cumulative deposit, your syllabus has only recurring deposit. So, yes, uh, in the board exam, one question is what is set from here, that is uh, there every year, but then again there also had been year like before last year, two questions were set from uh, this chapter. So, they are very, very simple. Yeah, I do not want to complicate things. So, what I will do is I am going to give you a formula and this formula is something again which will work for all different type of question that you may be given. I will try to pick up as many questions as possible all different types of question, but then before I do anything. So, first I will give you the formula and also I will explain to you what does that uh, formula stand for. Now, first you should understand what is recurring bank account. In recurring bank account, what we do is we put the money every month. For example, you decide that you have a certain income every year, uh, every month you know certain income is there uh, going as a waste and you want to save that. So, you go to the bank and ask to the bank manager, I want to open a recurring bank account and I want to deposit every month 500 rupees. Now, you have decided this amount 500 rupees. This is what in my formula, I will give it as P and do not forget this P is standing for monthly installment or monthly deposit 500 rupees. So, you have decided, you know this is de decided beforehand, you may deposit 50 rupees, you may deposit 100 rupees, you may deposit 5000 rupees, 5 lakh rupees every month, but every month you have to deposit this 500. So, it does not mean that this month you have deposit 500 and next month you will deposit only 200, it cannot be. This is fixed, every month you have to deposit this amount 500 rupees. Then, for how long? Now, you have to tell the manager, for how long are you going to keep this money? You may say 2 years. So, if you are keeping it for 2 years, this is what I will be referring to at as N and standing for the time. But since you are depositing every year, so whenever the time is given in year, you have to convert this year into months. So, there it is, 24 months is what you will be depositing. That means, 24 times you will be depositing 500 rupees. So, n in our formula is what is standing for this time, time in month. 
usually in SI unit, so whenever you are calculating SI, simple interest, you calculate if month is given then you convert it into year, but here you do just the opposite, if in case if it is given in month you will take that only, but then in case if it is given in year, then you have to convert that year into month by multiplying with 12. Then after 2 years is completed, you will deposit every month, now see 2 years completed means 500 rupees, you have deposited for 24 months. So, every month you go and deposit 500 rupees for 24 months. Then how much have you deposited? So, now your money, the money that you have deposited for 2 years. So, if I multiply now here 5 for 20, 5 to 10. So, that means 12,000 rupees is what you have deposited for 2 years. This is your money. Now, after 2 years you go to the bank and ask the manager, give my money. Then the manager will give you your money. This is your money because this is what you have deposited but the manager will also give you some extra money and that extra money is what you call interest. So, he will not go only give you your principal amount, this is what is your principal amount, your, your money because every month you have deposited 500 means now in 2 years it will accumulate and become 12,000. 12,000 plus you will also be getting the interest. Interest plus this 12,000 together here in this chapter we will call this as maturity value. This is maturity value, MV is standing for maturity value. Yeah, MB, one more chapter is there where I will be using the word uh, as abbreviation MB, market value for shares and dividend. But here in this chapter, MB is standing for maturity value. Maturity value means in a uh, interest term, in simple interest term, this is what is standing for amount. So, amount is equal to principal, this is your money only. So, that is what is principal plus interest. So, amount is equal to principal plus interest in that uh, simple interest chapter, you have seen this formula. So, but in this chapter, this amount is what I will be calling it as maturity value, MV. Then definitely one more thing will also be there in your formula and that is rate because the bank will give you the interest at a certain rate, maybe 5 percent, 3.5 percent, maybe 7 percent, so which will keep on fluctuating. So, that rate also will be what will be given to you in the equation. So, then do not forget the matured value, the amount, total amount that you get after certain time, maybe 1 year, 2 years, 3 years, 5 years, 10 years, for how long have you kept that money in the bank. So, matured value is the total amount that you get this is the principal amount that you deposit, then this is what is the extra money which the bank will give you for keeping your money there in the bank. So, here it is now one formula which is going to keep give you all answers for all the questions, so that is one formula. Now, if you see in your book there are different two formulas in fact, one formula for interest, the other formula for principal. So, I would recommend that rather than seeing those formulas, I would recommend that you only do or remember this formula. And this formula is something again which is going to help you in solving all the questions. So, if it is helping you to solve all the questions, then say what you want. So, only one formula, the whole chapter is covered. So, this is not a very big chapter, a small chapter. I will be discussing with you first, explain to you the formulas. Then, after that, I will also be discussing with you different types of questions associated with the chapter. All right, then the formula is yeah, MV, maturity value is equal to P into N, okay, I will call it as P N, okay, I think I will write rather P N, P into N, P standing for monthly deposit, N standing for number of month, for how long have you kept that money, P N plus P N R, N plus 1 over 2400, okay. <coughs> This maturity value as I told you actually means the total amount of money that you get. That is why let me write this as amount. Think that this is the amount total money that you get. What will be the maturity value or what will be what will be the amount that it gets then it means the question is shall you find maturity value. P into n means as you can see I multiplied this p into n. P into n means your own money. So that is why we will consider this p into n as the principal. Principal means your money, how much you have deposited. This is monthly deposit and for how many months have you deposited? If you multiply, you will get your own total money you have deposited. So, that is why please understand that this PNR n plus 1 over 2400 is what is the interest. Now, why am I showing you in this form is because sometime in some question, they will tell you find what is the interest. So, if the question is telling you only to find interest, then write interest equal to write only this formula. Interest equal to PNR n plus 1 over 2400 interest. If matured value is asked, use the full. But again, I am repeating if only interest is asked, we will use only this formula PNR n plus 1 over 2400.
this are uh, this is how uh, little adjustment that will do in case. Now let us also see now what this all stand for since I have not given MV is standing for maturity value. Then here P standing for monthly deposit. Then N standing for the number of months. Then again we have P then N R and R is standing for rate of interest. Alright, so if you know this formula, so all type of question from banking you will be able to do. Okay, now one more thing I should tell you that what type of question? In some question, like let's suppose if I am talking about one type of question, they will ask you what is the maturity value they will give you P also, they will give you P, they will give you N, they will give you R. So simply apply, put this here, all values what is given, put it there, simplify it, you will get matured value or maturity value. Other time, they may give you matured value and they will ask you, what is the principal? They will ask you, how much is deposit every month? So this is missing, principal is missing. So then maturity value will be given, N is given, R is given, everything is given except P. Or there might be question where you may be given maturity value also P, but then N will go missing. For how long? What is the time? They will ask you that. Or one more type of question, they may ask you to find rate, all other. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, out of this 4 variable as you can see, 3 will be directly or indirectly given to you. So out of this 4, 3 will be given to you directly or indirectly and you will be asked to find the fourth one. So if these 3 are asked, you will be asked to find this. If this is given, that is be asked. If all the other 3's are given, then. So that means our question which I will be discussing now, different types of question, I will say in some cases I will find maturity value, in other cases I will calculate my, uh, principal, that is monthly installment, then time, rate. Yes, only in calculation of time you may face a little problem because here you have to solve a quadratic equation that is splitting middle term and then I have seen most of the time, you know, you people really struggle with quadratic equation. But this quadratic equation when you are solving, so it is about calculation of angle, one answer may come in negative, the other one may come positive. So that most positive answer is because number of month cannot be negative. So you will take that n value as positive. This is what is your formula for banking. So one formula you will see I am going to use for solving all the questions. Then now let us start with our exercise. Since this is your second chapter of your book, so this definitely it will be exercise 2. So I will now take all different types of questions. And seeing these questions, seeing this video, you will be solving the remaining questions which I will not be doing. Okay, let me start now with the first kind of question where you will be asked, everything will be given to you and you will be asked to find the matured value or maturity value. So this is your exercise 2, we are discussing now exercise 2 of your book and I think I will start with question number 1 and 1. Now let me read what the question says. Calculate the maturity value of a recurring deposit account of rupees 180 per month for one and a half years at the rate of 9.5 percent per annum. Okay, what I are given to us in the question? Let me write 180 rupees per month means that is what he is depositing every month. So I'll take this as 180 rupees. Then time is given as one and a half years. And yes, you have to be very, very careful with time. So in case if it is given in years, you have to convert this into month. So one and a half year is 2, 1, 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 by 2 years. I am converting into month, so I will multiply it by 12, 6. So there you are, 18 months. So your value of N is 18 months. Then next one is rate. Rate is given as 9.5% per annum. So as I told you, there are four things, out of four things, three things will be given to you. As you can see, one, two, three things are given to you and you have to find the fourth one. Now what do you, the question is telling you, very clearly it is mentioned, find the matured value. So let me write down then the formula for matured value or maturity value, which is Pn plus Pnr n plus 1 over 2400. Yeah. Please note that this line, do not pull it up to this point. So this line is only for this section only, only for the interest section, principal plus interest. Now I am going to write the values one by one, maturity value equal to P, our P is 180 rupees, N is 18 plus again P is 180 into N is 18, rate is 9.5 and N plus 1, if N is 
if n is 18 then this is 18 plus 1 which will be 19 or always one more than whatever is the value of n so 19 then over 2400 yeah maybe a little problem in the calculation because as you can see a complex calculation has come but that multiplication and division uh, i'm sure you people will be able to manage so let's now do the multiplication here <coughs> i'm going to multiply now so here let me multiply uh, 180 with 18 so 8864 so 4 and 2 and 3 so this is what is 3240 so that is 3240 now i have to calculate the interest now let me remove the decimal so it is 180 into 18 into 95 into 19 and then over 2400 0, 0, and with that one decimal so i am putting a 10 so i am not very comfortable with the decimals you also do the same remove the decimal and solve so here we go one zero i'll cancel here this and this is gone now let me cancel now with 5 so 5 4 20 40 5 8 40 and 0 so this is 5 going here 19 time then i think 6 3 18 6 8 is a 48 then I think I can cancel now with the mm -hmm, 2 2 will go here 9 time 2 will go here 40 time now, I don't think we will be able to cancel any of this one so now let's do the multiplication so there you are so let me multiply 19 with 19 so multiplication 9 9 81 9 1 9 plus 8 is 1 7 so 9 1 so that is 1 then this is what is 6 and this is <coughs> 3 so 361 is 19 into 19 so this 19 into 19 then 9 into 3 is 27 so let me multiply this with again 27 so again 19 into 19 is 361 and then into 27 so we have 7 7 6 42 7 3 21 25 then 2 2 2 6 12 and 2 3 6 and 7 so that makes it 7 4 7 9 so your maturity value is equal to so 3 2 4 0 plus so the upper multiplication is giving you 9747 and lower side you have 40 now let me divide this one with 4 yeah i am converting this 40 into 4 i will divide 40 into 4 into 10 is what i am going to do so 4 2 8 then 17 4 4 is a 16 then 14 4 3 12 then 27 now 4 6 24 then 30 4 7 is a 28 and again 20 4 4 is a 16 so it goes on and on so i am getting that one as a, a 0.74 then this is 3 2 4 0 plus since i got 2 4 3 6 now there is also two more decimals because sorry one more decimal because this is 40 i divided by 4 but there is 9 7 4 7 divided by 4 into 10 so that is 3 2 4 0 plus this part division i have already done so that is equal to 2436.74 now further i have to divide it by 10 because 4 into 10 10 means decimal gets shifted here so then our maturity value is 3240 plus so if you divide by 10 decimal shift here it will be 243.67 so i'm taking only two decimal after decimal so six and seven four i'm ignoring now let's add this two so your matured value will be equal to so the addition of this two 3240 plus 243 243.67 so if i add this 6 7 this is 3 8 4 3 so that is giving you 3483.67 so here we can write rupees 3483.67 is what is the matured value yeah this is what is the first type of question where you will be asked to find the matured value now let us go to another type of question okay so now if i select <coughs> i think uh, yes uh, yeah i'll go with question number five now there you'll ask to find what is the rate so since the question is telling you to find rate most probably rate is asked means all other things will be given to you only rate will be missing okay i'm going for number five now <coughs> Okay. 
Okay. It says, by the way, this is also an ICC question. This is ICC 2008 question. So, David open a recurring deposit account in a bank and deposited rupees 300 per month. This is number 5. So, principal is rupees 300. So, he is depositing every month 300 rupees per month for 2 years. Again, time 2 years. So, it is 2 years. If I convert into month, it becomes 24 months. So, there you are. And do not forget, year has to be converted to month. If he receive rupees 7725 on maturity, okay, here you can see now maturity value is given. On maturity means when the time is completed, he gets maturity value is rupees 7725. Yeah, 25. He is getting this much amount. And the question is telling you what is the rate of interest. Yeah, very similar now. I am not going to use any extra formula. I am going to use the same formula there out of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 are given as you can see 3 are given and the fourth one is what you have to find. So, let us then use again the formula maturity value equal to P n plus P n r n plus 1 over 2400. So, maturity value is 7725. So, I wrote this value P is 300 n is 24. So, n is 24 plus again p is 300 into n is 24 rate is missing this r I am writing as r only and this is 24 plus 1 is 25 over this is 2400. So, okay now see everything is given except this r the only thing is that simplify it properly nicely you following the rules but cross multiplication you should get the answer ok two zeros I am cancelling this 24 is getting cancelled with this 24. So, this is 7725 and as you multiply this, so 0, 0, uh, this is uh, 7200 or 7200 plus all got cancelled. So, I only have to multiply the upper one only. So, this 3 into 25 is 75 R. Transfer this 7200 on the other side. So, as it is plus, as it comes this will be minus 7725 minus 7200 and that side is what is 75 R. So, if I reverse this 75 R is equal to now let us subtract this two. So, if you subtract this two I think it will come 525 7725 and 7200. So, 725 minus 200 is 525. So, rate is equal to 525 divided by 75. Okay, let us cancel now. Then if I cancel with 5, 515 and 515. 5105. Then again further 5 will go to 3 time, 5 will go to 21 time, and 3 will cancel as 7. So there you are, rate is 7 percent. Yeah, simple and easy. Yeah, this is how you actually calculate your rate of interest. So I calculated maturity value for the first question, then for this question number 5, I calculated rate. Now let us go to calculation of two more thing that is one is principal and the other one is time. Okay, now to go to the next question. Okay, I think I will go uh, to question number, yeah, question number 7. In question number 7, it is about calculation of P that is calculation of monthly installment, monthly deposit. Well, let me read now. Rakesh opens a recurring deposit account with a bank for a certain sum of amount for a period of 2 years. Okay, 2 years. N is 2 years. Immediately, I will convert it into month. So, it is 24 months. The bank pays interest at the rate of 12 percent. So, rate is given as 12 percent. Pay 12 percent. If Rakesh gets rupees 2430 as the matured, maturing value. Okay, so maturity value is also given. Maturity value is very small, so that is 2430 rupees. As the uh, maturing value for, of this account, how much money did he pay every month? So, how much money did he pay every month means the question is asking you to find what is his monthly deposit fee. So, third type of question, as you can see now, three are given, the fourth one is missing. So, then going by this one, MB is equal to PN plus P n R n plus 1 over 2400. So, now write down values which you know this is 2430 P is missing n is 24 months again P is missing 24 rate is uh, 12 
and then this is 24 plus 1 25 over 2400. So, I am going to now simplify this 24 will cancel here 100 times 25 will go here 4 times 4 will cancel 12 3 times. So, then we have 2430 is 24p and plus here also no fraction if fraction was there I would have taken the LCM and added but then there is no fraction here so everything got cancelled so you have only 3p. So, 3p. So, 24p plus 3p is 27p. So, we have 27p is 2430. So, p is equal to 2430 over 27. Now, let us cancel. Uh, let me cancel with 3. 3, 9, 24. 3, 8, 24. 3, 1 and 0. So, 9 will cancel here 90 times. So, there we are. His principal every month he was depositing 90 rupees. So, this monthly deposit is what the question is asking you to find and monthly deposit is 90 rupees. Okay, then <laughs> next. By the way, I think we have calculated all everything except for calculation of time. Time as I told you calculation of time becomes a little complex as compared to others. Uh, and uh, question number 7. Okay. Now, before I go to calculation of time. I think uh, here uh, the question is there a little different from other question even though you know uh, the concept is the same the formula is the same yeah let's see this 2015 ICC 2015 question question number 9 okay question number 9 says Katrina open a recurring deposit account with a nationalized bank for a period of 2 years okay here you go then n is 2 years again multiply with 12 24 months If the bank pays interest at the rate of 6 percent, so rate is also given, rate is given as 6 percent and the monthly installment is 1000 rupees. So, she is depositing every month 1000 rupees. Then find, now two questions are asked. The first question is asking find the interest earned in two years and the second question is asked find what is the matured value. Okay, again what is the interest? The first question is telling you to find what is the interest. And the second question is telling you to find matured value. Now, do not use the formula which I gave you directly because the question is asking the question number 1 as interest. So, as the question is asking you to find interest, yeah, I think I have told you a little while ago what is the formula of interest, second part of the formula. The formula of maturity value is P n plus P n r n plus. So, that P n only you do not take because that is what is the principal and interest part. This one P n r n plus 1 over 2400. This is the formula for the interest that second part of that previous formula. So, interest is this. So, now use only this and find the interest you will get question answer to question number 1. So, let us see that P is there 1000 rupees n is also given 24 months rate is given as 6 this is 25 and 2400. So, 2 0 I am cancelling it 24 and 24 is also cancelled. So, there you are. So, 625 into 6 is 150. So, 150 and one more 0. So, this is what is the interest. So, that means he is getting an interest of 1500. Now, second question is asking you find matured value. Now, do not use this formula P n plus P n r n plus 1 over 2400. Why will you use the formula? Because this already have solved. Yeah this you have already solved and this part you already know it is 1500. So, directly I will write this one as 1500 because this one is the interest. 1500 is the interest already calculated 1500. Now, only put the value of P and N. The P is what is 1000 and N is 24. So, as you multiply this is 24000 and plus 1500. So, 24 this is what is going to give you 25,500 rupees. So, there you are your matured value or maturity value is 25,500. So, this was a little different. Now, why I am saying different because they are asked find the interest, find the matured value. So, that is why it is a little different from. Now, let us see a question where usually you find it a little difficult calculation of time and because as I said in the beginning that you will find it difficult because of the fact that you have to solve a quadratic equation splitting middle term. 
Okay, I think I'll now take one question. So that will be the last question uh, because uh, all different types we have discussed. Uh, there are only 14 questions, and out of 14, I think I have already done around five, six of them. So the remaining one you can easily do. Just apply that formula and solve. Okay, I'm going with question number 13. There it is, calculation of time. It says Ahmed has a. This one is also, by the way, a board question, 2011 question. Ahmed has a recurring deposit account in a bank. He deposits rupees 2500 per month. Okay. Every month he is depositing 2500. 2500 per month for two years. Oh, almost every question I took, I think time is coming two years. Two years into 12 is 24 months. If he gets rupees, so he is getting this much. Maturity value is rupees. 66,250 rupees is what he is getting as the maturity value. Find the interest paid by the bank, the first question and the second question is telling you what is the rate of interest. Again, first question is interest and the second question is what is the rate. So here, three things given to you, interest. Now, since the question is telling you to find the interest, now interest is okay see the problem now interest is pnr n plus 1 over 2400 now that means if you have to find interest you should have everything now p is there n 24 oh no 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 uh, Okay, since I have already written this question, this is not a calculation of rate time, time is already given. So, let me do it already since I have already started. So, here interest calculation is P and R n plus 1. So, again everything is given, P is 2500, n is 24, rate is missing, since the second question is telling you to find the rate. So, rate is missing and n is what is 25 here, since 24 plus 1 25 over 24. Now, it is not possible to find the interest using this formula because R is missing. So, if you really want to find what the interest for this question, then you have to do something like this. Maturity value is equal to P n plus, now do not write this formula, write interest, yeah, because this is the formula for the interest. And since the question is telling you to find the interest, now see how easily you can do it. Maturity value is given 66,250, P is also given 2500 n is also given 24 and plus the question is telling you to find interest okay i am not solving this question is easy 24 will multiply this 2500 and take it that side and subtract here you got the answer for the first question interest once the interest has come then now easily you can also find the rate now for the second type question now write interest equal to pnr n plus 1 over 2400 okay now since interest you know already here you have calculated interest here so that interest you will put here P is there, N is there, this N is also there, then from there you can easily find out the rate. So, I am not solving this question because since I, I thought this is a calculation of time, but by mistake I picked this question 13, but only one difference that you see is that interest, see how to calculate the interest, do not use the full formula, use P N plus interest and from that interest will come out and rate will come out easily. So, then let me now go to a question where you have to do calculation of time. Okay, so calculation of time, 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 time. Yeah, question number 10. <coughs> question number 10 has a calculation of time. Let us see now what it says. A man open a recurring deposit account with a bank and deposit rupees 140 per month. So, principal is rupees 140 per month. If the rate of interest is 10 percent, so rate of interest is 10 percent and the bank pays this much. So, there it is, maturity value. Bank is paying him rupees 5817 5817 on maturity find the time for which the account was held so that means the question is telling you find what is the time okay so i told you this is the type of question which uh, if you usually find it a little tough because and calculation means two two places n is there outside the bracket also n is there inside the bracket also n is there that is why n is square as well as n will come so you have to solve a quadratic equation all right then here you go then mv is equal to pn plus pnr n plus 1 over 2400 maturity value is 5817 p is 140 
n is what we are looking for again 140 into n is missing and r yeah, r is what is 10 this is again n plus 1 over 2400. So, n n and n ok this n may not cause a problem, but this n will cause a problem because this n is multiplying that inside n into n becomes n square ok. So, 0 1 gone another 0 is also gone. So, this will be 7 this will be 12 then we have 5817 that is 140 n plus ok this is 7 n and inside n plus 1 over 12. So, this is 5817 equal to taking LCM as 12. So, here it is 1 will go here 12, 12 is multiplying 1 14. So, 14 into 12, 12 4 48, 12 1 12, 12 1 68. So, it is 1 6 8 0 n plus 12 is going 1. So, it is the same thing is what I am going to copy. So, same thing means it is 7 n into n is 7 n square and 7 n into 1 is 7 n. Yeah, something like this is what we are getting. So, this one is also n, this also n, both of this can be added. So, you have 5817 and this is 7 n square plus addition between this and this is giving you 1687 n over 12. Okay, let me now cross multiply. So, if you cross multiply 1 which is multiplying that one to give you 7 n square plus 1687 n on one side and on the other side 2 l is going to multiply this. Okay, let us multiply this. So, it is 5817 is going to multiply 12. 12 into this one. So, if we multiply ok 1 by 1 let me do it 14 to 1 2 3 to 8 16 then 10 11 this is 7 1 8 5. So, this is 4 0 8 this one is 9 6. So, that is equal to 6900 sorry 69804. Now, bring that 69804 onto the left side and write equal to 0. So, this is 7n square plus 1687n minus 69804 equal to 0. So, there you are now we have frame a quadratic equation. Now, we need to split this middle term split it and then get the value of n. So, I told you why it is difficult is now only because of this one. Now, a quadratic equation has come. Now, as you got a quadratic equation and then now factors. What are the factors? Okay, then uh, 7 is not the common factor. If 7 was a common factor, I would have made it a lot more easier. Now, let us see the factors for this. Okay, I am now searching the factors. Okay, 7 will multiply this. So, as you multiply 7 with 69804, a very, very big number is what is going to come. So, 69804. Now, let me find out the factors. So, 2 will go here 3 times, 2 4s are 8, 2 9s are 18, 0 and 2. Again with 2, 2 1, 2, 2 7, 14, 2 4s are 8, 2 5 and 1, uh, 8, 9 and 9. Again, I think 3 will go 3 5 is a 15 24 3 8 3 1 and 17 then again I think uh, 8 and 8 16 yeah again 3 will go 3 1 3 28 3 9 is a 27 3 3 is a 9 27 again 3 9 is a 27 ok uh, you need 16 something ok by the way this is there and uh, now you have this one 19 uh, at the same time you have 7 also Six nine eight zero four thirty six. let's see 36 into 7 7 6 42 7 3 is a uh, 256 and Okay, 252, 1939, 252, 7, uh, then you have here 8, then you have here 6, 1. Okay, yes, I got that. This one, factors. It is 7 n square. Now, see what are the factors? The factors are 1939, this 1939. If I subtract, 
252. Okay, see the most difficult part is now to find the factor. This it will multiply this. That is what I did here. And then if you multiply this and this, you should get the same multiplication that you got. If you multiply 7 with this, you will get the same multiplication which will be 69804 into 7. So, this into 7. And here when you subtract, you should get this one or not only subtract, you can add also subtract also, but in this case our subtraction is going to give you this and this n is what I am writing minus 69804 is what is equal to 0. I repeat again, see what I have done. We are splitting the middle term. So, how is this 1687 coming? 1687 will come if you subtract 1839 minus 252. If you subtract this, then 1687 is what is going to come. Yeah, if you multiply these two, then you will get the same multiplication when you, that you will get when you multiply this and this. This into this will be same as this into this. Then not only that, when you subtract or add, then this will come this. When you subtract, we are getting that. Now, this n. So, instead of 1687, I wrote this minus this, which is come 1687. As you can see here, a subtraction between the two is 1687 and n. Now, 7n square. Now, as you multiply with n, it will be 1939n minus 252n. So, n is multiplying here minus this is 69804 equal to 0. All right. Now, further, I think uh, between these two, 7, 2 is a 14, 53, 49, 14 is 7 is common. So, between these two, 7n is common. So, 7n is already out. So, n is left plus. So, 7, 2 is a 14. 53, 7, 7 is a 49, then 49, again 7, 7 is a 49. This is what you are getting. Yeah, in between these two, I will take minus 252 as common. So, this also is going to give you n minus into minus is plus because I am supposed to get the same bracket between this and this 252 is what is common because 252 can divide 252 at the same time 69804 also will be divided by 252. So, this will be plus minus into minus is plus and this also will be 277. It has to come the same because what is this bracket same thing should come there. That is why rather than finding it by division I am sure that if you multiply this and this you are going to get this. Now, you can see both the brackets are same as the both the brackets are same I will take common 277 n plus 277 as common as both the brackets are same. Then in the other bracket I will take what is outside the bracket that is 7 n minus 252 is equal to 0. So, the difference between factorization and splitting middle term quadratic equation is that. So, in factorization we will finish this that equal to 0 part is not there, but when you have equal to 0 then we have to write either the first bracket is 0 either n plus 277 is equal to 0 or the second bracket is equal to 0, 7n minus 252 is equal to 0. Then here 277 taking that side, we minus 277, n is minus 277 means 277 month minus not possible, n can never be negative. So, it is not possible to get n value as minus 277, maybe this will give us the value of our n. 7n equal to 252 minus 252 is going that side will becoming positive. So, n is equal to 252 over 7. So, let us see I think 7 will cancel 7 3 is a 21 42 7 6. So, n is 36 since our n means number of month. So, there you are and it is coming positive and it is coming 36 month. So, since the question is telling you to find n there you are 36 months. And do not forget if you do not want to write 36 month, then you can also write n equal to 36 convert into year because 12 months make a year. So, that is 3 years. So, you can keep your answer as 36 month or so with this we have so why I said time calculation is difficult because you will really struggle with this calculation. But do not worry, there is a chapter called quadratic equation, 2 2 chapters, not 1, 2 2 chapters are there of quadratic equation in the syllabus that we are discussing, but I know that this splitting kind some question class 9, some question class uh, 8 also you have done quadratic question. There was a chapter also called quadratic question in class 8. So, I think you will understand that. So, with this we have completed banking chapter all different type and banking chapter was not too lengthy. So, all different types of question I have done and hopefully you people will be able to solve all other question remaining questions. Okay. Thank you and bye bye.